Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. So, crypto may be getting it sent into space. That's right, folks. It may be getting sent into space. Ethereum, specifically, will be sent into space by Villanova University. This is not to say anything about the price. It's not like mooning or whatever. It's like literally being sent into space to test inter-satellite communication using blockchain, obviously. So Villanova's University's College of Engineering is sending a private Ethereum blockchain, so it's not the public blockchain of Ethereum, into space to test whether distributed ledger technology, DLT, can help satellites exchange data. So DLT may actually have a lot of other uses in terms of technology. Working in collaboration with nonprofit Teachers in Space, Villanova's engineering school secured a flight for its blockchain on a Firefly Aerospace rocket slated for launch on November 20th from the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. The rocket will carry a Serenity satellite that will include Villanova's private blockchain mounted on a Raspberry Pi. So Villanova's private blockchain is built on a private version of Ethereum. Doesn't have much to do with a public chain, but maybe it's interoperable. Not really sure where ETH would have any uh, part to play in this, but maybe because it is on a, uh, on a, a private Ethereum blockchain. Hashi Suter, Sudler, the adjunct professor at Villanova, Villanova, who is leading this project, said the large number of communications and other types of satellites that are already in space brought into focus how blockchain technology could help the sector. Currently, there are almost 2,800 man-made satellites orbiting Earth, 1,425 of which belong to the U.S. So about half of the orb satellites orbiting Earth belong to the U.S., according to data collected by the Union of Concerned Scientists. They're concerned because there's a lot of space junk, and uh, that could like be really bad trouble for like future satellites. So the thing is, um, the, set, the, the thing is like they're sending this into space to test inter-satellite communication. I don't really know if they'll use the cryptocurrency uh, to actually like send like smart contracts or whatever, but we want to be able to allow satellites to leverage the existing data that uh, current satellites have. But that raises the question of how, you, uh, how do you do that transfer and ensure that transaction has taken place, even ensure that it's been paid for. And this is where the blockchain plays a unique role. According to Sudler, moving data from one satellite to another can be a lengthy process involving multiple ground stations that stay in touch with the satellite. Using a blockchain network to transact this data could reduce such requirements and lower the operational cost of maintaining ground stations. So, um, like, space communications could be uh, severely impacted in terms of cost by this as well. The blockchain that will be sent into space uses a proof of authority consensus mechanism as a way of minimizing energy requirements. So it's obviously not Ethereum's public blockchain because that does not use proof of authority. Right now it's still proof of work, which can be quite significant compared to those mechanisms commonly used in public blockchains. In an email statement, Villanova said satellites uh, will remain in low Earth orbit for 30 days. The first 15 days will be used for controlled blockchain experiments conducted by researchers, followed by 15 days... Um, of testing to measure transaction performance under heavy traffic conditions. Using blockchain may also rectify another problem when it comes to satellites, their movements. If you have a number of satellites talking to one, to one another and moving in and out of view of each other fairly quickly, it makes it difficult for the entire network to establish consensus really quickly, said Sula. According to the university statement, the flight planned for November 20th is the first of many aimed at testing how low Earth orbit satellites could carry out transactions using private blockchain. So it doesn't really look like this is actually... Um, going to really impact public Ethereum at all. It's going to be all handled on private blockchain, and it looks like it's private blockchain for the future, but still a very, very cool use for blockchain. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.